Simona Halep and Karolina Pliskova make up the final for Rome in 2020, and both players have had to battle to get into the final. Halep had a bye in the first round. Her second round opponent was local hope Paulini, but she brushed her aside 6-3, 6-4. In her third round, she had to battle past Ukrainian Yastremska. She got through in straight sets 7-5, 6-4. In her quarterfinal, she got a little lucky against Putin Seva, and after winning the first set 6-2, Putin Seba retired two love in the second. The semi final was a battle of the champions against the number nine seed, Muguruza. After taking the first set, Halep got into a battle, with Muguruza coming back from injury to force a third set. But Halep eventually prevailed 6 3, 4 6, 6 4. Pliskova's run to the final has been similar. After a bye in the first round, she got through Strikova in the second round, 6 3, 6 3. The third round against qualifier Blinkova, another straight sets win, 6 4, 6 3. Her toughest match to date was the quarterfinals against 11th seed Elise Mertens. After dropping the second set, the third set was a wipeout, eventually prevailing 6-3, 3-6, 6 love. And in the semifinals against number 12 seed Vondra Sova, another impressive performance by Pliskova, advancing to the final in straight sets 6-2, 6-4. These players have played 11 times before, with Halep leading the head-to-head 7-4. The story is a little closer when we talk about clay matches. The head-to-head -head on clay is 1-1, with Pliskova winning their last meeting in 2018 in the quarterfinals of Madrid. That was a straight sets win. We have a blockbuster final with the number one seed versus the number two seed in this one, and could be a preview into the French Open in a couple of weeks. It's been a great week for Pliskova to get into some form leading into the third major of the year, but my prediction is Halep in this one, and I think she's going to win in three sets. Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win, and what do you think the score is going to be.